name to. That's uh, athletic speak in European Championship terms for the former Yugoslavia. Badejo, Great Britain in three. Vadovin of Russia in four. Ivanov, Bulgaria in five. Rusterholz of Switzerland in lane six. Mackenzie, Great Britain in lane seven. Bittner of Germany in lane number eight. Ladejo, very, very relaxed at the moment. He said yesterday the qualifying was so easy he couldn't believe it in the first round. Uh, but today, as Tony Hadley, his coach, says, they've got to start motoring. Mackenzie goes in lane number seven. Former schools champion. Didn't run especially well in the heat yesterday. Finished fourth, 46.78. His best time, though, set this season 45.47. Only Ladejo in this semi-final has run faster this year. But Dave McKenzie looked a bit unsettled yesterday. Let's hope that uh, pipe opener 24 hours ago relaxed him. He's 23. Won the school's title in 88. So many of our top athletes come through the uh, English school's championship, which is one of the events of the year. If you get the chance in your area, to go and see it. You've got an event going on about every two minutes. Brilliantly run, and it produces some of our very best athletes. Dwayne Ladejo. He's 23. Won the European indoors earlier this season. Also won the three A's indoors. Second in the national championship at Sheffield to Roger Black. But has beaten Roger twice since then. Adesia won in Budapest, won in Edinburgh, second in Crystal Palace, second in the Goodwill Games to Quincy Watts. Vadovin, the Russian, very, very fast off the block. 45-6-6 this year. Won the Russian indoor title, second to Ladejo and the European indoors in Paris in March. Dwayne Odejo, spent some time in America, born in Peckham, run for the Belgrave Pub, Madovin. Two for two is Ivanov. National record over for Bulgaria. That is Rister Holt, who ran really well to win his uh, heat yesterday from Switzerland. 46.12 is the big time. Mackenzie in seven. And in lane eight, Bittner. The German ran 46.62 in the heat yesterday. Well, the qualifying, actually, surprisingly, was very, very easy in the first round. But this is where the real business starts. The data was telling me yesterday, he doesn't, uh, and now does his coach, Tony Hadley, they put down a lot of injuries from athletes all over the world down to synthetic tracks and training too hard on them. And Ladesio actually spent a lot of time on an old cinder track, which I didn't know was still there in Regent's Park. The surface a bit more forgiving. The first semi-final, the first four into the final of the 400 meters. Bakari, Italy in one. Jurovic, Yugoslavian two, running as an independent European participant. Badejo, Great Britain in three. Badovin, Russia in four. Ivanov, Bulgaria in five. Rusterholz of Switzerland in six. Mackenzie, Great Britain in seven. Bittner of Germany in lane eight. A lot of noise in the stadium. But in spite of that, they get away. Vadejo's gone off very quickly, but so too is the man outside him. Vadovin, down the back straight is Vadovin, who always runs the first 200 metres fast in the all-blue. 
But Dovin leading very, very clearly indeed. But now Ledesio beginning to work through the halfway stage. Mackenzie also going very well in lane number seven. And Bedovin, though, is the leader, but he's beginning to tire. And Ledesio now has paced this beautifully. He comes through, takes the Russian. Ledesio leads the European Indoor Champion, going home to qualify, surely, for the final of this European Outdoors. Bedovin fighting back, but Ledesio in control. Ledesio wins. Bedovin second. Rooster holds third. Ivanov fourth. Those four go through 45-7-0. Nicely balanced run. He didn't really begin to chase Vadovin until the crowd of the bend. About 250 meters. And when he attacked, he just let everybody else know who was in charge. He's looking better and better and more mature with every race. David Kenzie faded in the last 50 meters after this promising. Adesia wins, Bedovin second, Roussel third, Ivanov fourth. Dave McKenzie back in eighth place. Or possibly seventh. Let's have a look at uh, Dwayne in close-up. He really is beginning to be a true force in the one-lap race. And by the way, he lost the decision in the Goodwill Games to Quincy Watts at the American. But even Quincy Watts said afterward, uh, so Dwayne tells me, that the Russians have got it totally wrong. That in fact, Quincy Watts said, you won it. And by the way, watching uh, every step of the way, a very fascinated spectator was Roger Black, the reigning European champion who goes in the next semi-final. He took a very close interest in this. And of course, he and Ledejo, good friends, but very strong rivals. The head-to-head -head this season, they've won two each. <laughs> a bit cheeky. <laughs> he seems to be saying, have a look at this, it's easy. Bedovin having a look across, and possibly even time for a smile himself. I think Dwayne made it quite clear who's the boss in that one. Got a big smile on his face, and his job is done. And there's the result, the Dojo's time, 45.70 with such ease. Bedovin, 45.85. Uh, Roosterholz, Switzerland, 45.88. Ivanov of Bulgaria, 46.10. They're the four qualifiers. Uh, Mackenzie uh, down in seventh place.